Hi Pisces, welcome to Pisces Tarot and Advice and welcome to your daily reading. Hope you're doing well. We're going to have a look and see what's going on for you at the time you find this video. you got lots of other videos you can check out. Just look in the description box below. you got monthly messages. If you're interested in uh, messages for <clears throat> all the signs, excuse me, uh, check out my other channel, Advice to Think Twice. I've linked it in the description as well for you. I just did monthlies for all the signs over there. All right, Pisces, let's see what we got going on for my Pisces placements. Take the messages as they resonate. Don't force anything to fit. Check out any other messages you feel drawn to. And as always, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, for subscribing. And special thanks to my members. Let's see what we got going on for Pisces. My voice is being <clears throat> funny. And it was fine until I started the reading. So that's significant for the reading. Either you're holding your tongue on something or someone else has been and they're about to speak up. All right, let's see. That could be a side message for someone. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, bottom of the deck. The nine of wands, yeah, this could be holding back energy. Um, definitely this is, a uh, expecting the worst or expecting something else to happen. Like, okay, what else was going to happen? What fresh hell is this? Feeling a little bit tired, drained, exhausted, um, weary from dealing with a lot of hardships and a lot of obstacles and challenges like one after the other. The nine of wands is also an energy that says, all right, one final push, just one final push, just keep going, just do one last thing and then you'll be over that finish line. Okay. In the current situation, we have the Four of Pentacles with the Devil. So the Four of Pentacles with the Devil and the Nine of Wands could be that mentality of just being very single-minded, one last push, maintain your ground, hold your position, keep going, don't give up on this, don't stop now, right? Whether that's something that you are pursuing or something that you feel like you can't move on until you finish this, whatever this is, okay? Interesting. And the challenge position, the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Yeah, it just feels like you don't really want to be giving to something, you don't want to be investing in something, and yet you feel you have to. With the Five of Swords, there could be, you know, if I stop, there's going to be conflict. If I stop, they'll yell at me. If I stop giving to this or stop investing in this, um, they're going to get bitter. They're going to be resentful, whoever they are. And this could also be an energy where you're being asked to speak up, hence my voice, um, and maybe for you to set some boundaries, for you to say, I will finish this and then that's it. On the mind, we have the Knight of Swords and the King of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, you, you're getting ready to do just that. Okay, to face some sort of King of Wands energy in your life. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, whether they're fe uh, female or male, um, whether that's their sun, their moon, or their rising signs, doesn't matter. Um, this is someone who does whatever they want, when they want. They, have, they do have authority. They do have some sort of power. They do have some sort of control. Um, but they're very... They do things on their own. They don't really open up. They don't really trust you. They don't really make things easy for you. Um, this is the kind of person that just expects you to do things. And you might be working for this person or this could be a family member, a friend or a spouse, someone in the community. And I think either their, their power went to their head a little bit and they're too demanding. They have to just, you know, you have to have some sort of boundary with them. Or um, there's some sort of, last straw situation or conversation that happened where they're telling you you have to do this you can't leave until I say so you can't stop until I say so and that's what really pushes you over the edge in the foundation we have six of cups and the page of swords yeah this is something that's been going on for a long time this can be a sibling it can be someone you have a lot of history with You've worked together forever. You went to school together. You're siblings. You lived 
around the same place in the same community. Um, this is also a pattern, something you've been doing and expected to do and keep doing for quite some time. Um, for fear of criticism, for fear of upsetting someone. The Page of Swords is someone who's just very critical, very demanding, very critical, slightly immature. They don't really take no for an answer, but they can come across as disrespectful, like they don't even give you an option. They demand, they just demand that you drop what you're doing and do whatever they're asking you to do. I think you've had enough. Yeah, look, Seven of Wands with the Queen of Wands in the recent past. The King and Queen of Wands are out, so this could be happening in a couple dynamic or a one-to-one -one dynamic in your life or with parents, um, or you're the parents. But the Seven of Wands in the recent past, this was like, okay, last, like, final straw. That's it. No, you started pushing back. You started fighting back. You started saying no to things. You started putting up boundaries. And I feel like there could be some sort of tense moment or tense conversation with the four pentacles and the devil today um where they're saying with the five of swords and the seven of pentacles you have to keep doing this or you have to do this and you're going why i don't think so right this could be a situation where these were the terms and conditions about 10 years ago right or this was a promise you made about 10 years ago and you fulfilled it about a million times since and they keep bringing it up you promised you would do this and you're going yeah and i have 15 million times before that promise has been fulfilled stop bringing it up right as an example for some this is some sort of news or truth that has been revealed some sort of long-kept secret that has come to light and it's something that really annoyed you, irritated you. It could be to do with you've been helping someone for the longest time because they told you they couldn't do it for themselves and it turns out you've been paying their bills and they had the money to pay their own bills all along but they've been paying someone else's bills, right? For example, something like that. Or children are involved somehow. All right, so let's see what's going on in today's energy. <laughs> Interesting message. So we have the two of pentacles, king of pentacles, Taurus, we have Capricorn, and the moon. Look at that beautiful moon card. So now, we have a decision to make. And you're going and contemplating and digging deeper and trying to find the truth and make sure that you're looking at the fact of a situation before making a final decision on this. You could be talking to an advisor. You could be getting legal advice. You could be getting financial advice. You could be looking at what are my rights in the situation. Or you're talking to a close family member or friend and just getting their their advice. Am I being unrealistic? Am I asking for too much? Am I upset over nothing? What do you think? Eight of Swords with the Tower. Yeah, you've had enough and you you just went out of something. You just went out of something. And it has to do with something being revealed and that was the last straw for you. And the sun. The moon with the sun in a reading. Talk about whatever was done in darkness is coming to light. And there are consequences. For you, it's freedom. For you, it's success. Your name being cleared. Your reputation improving. Um, you being rewarded somehow. And someone else has to deal with the consequences of their action or inaction. But yeah, it's some sort of bond. There's news being revealed about something that's been going on for a long time. And it has to do with some sort of bond or some sort of control or some sort of pact agreement that has gone way past its end date. And it just kept kept rolling on, right? Because um, you didn't say no or you didn't stop it. But under the terms this was agreed upon initially, you were happy to do this, if that makes sense, right? And here comes this revelation of how long has this been going on? And it just makes you very angry, bitter, five of swords, seven of pentacles. How long have I given to this? How much money have I given to this? 
How much of my resource have I been giving to this? And you're telling me it was for a lie. It was deception. It was because of manipulation. It was a waste. I really feel like you're you're going to give someone a, a piece of your mind today. Because not only did they lie or hide things or cheat and steal or hide money from you or whatever this is, got you to do things under false pretenses, or just took advantage of the fact that you weren't saying no. Not only were they doing that, but when you do say no, or when you start asking questions, page of swords, where was this going again? Where did this come from again? What's the plan here again? When you start asking questions or asking to see receipts, invoices, proof of any kind, right? That what they're supposed to be doing, they're, do they're doing. They kick off, they have a fit, they push it back on you. You promised, you said, you signed a contract. And any, again, it's something, this could be with some sort of service provider. It doesn't have to be with you and a close person. But it's the something where something lapsed, something expired. They didn't bring it up because it benefited them for it to just keep going. But technically, there's no legal obligation there. And they thought you didn't know that. They thought you didn't know that contract expired. And for some of you, you didn't know. And that's what's coming to light. Right? Interesting. Interesting. So let's see. Oracle energy and advice. But whatever it is, it's being addressed. It's being corrected. Someone's getting reported. Or something's made known. Something's made public. And it frees you from a bond, a tie, or a commitment that either was expired anyway or it wasn't yours to make it wasn't your responsibility and it has to do with this revelation so let's see oracle energy and advice for pisces And I feel like it has to do with you just asked a simple question. You weren't even suspicious about anything. You just asked a simple question. You saw a message pop up and you go, what was that? And they just kick off. Right? And you're going, why are you reacting like this? What the hell's going on? Let me see that thing. Right? Or this came in the mail for you. Or something was in your name. You open it up and again, there's some sort of revelation. And they're having a fit and they're kicking off. So we have four apprentice, higher education, beliefs, and wisdom. So someone could be lying about you're giving them money to pay for school. Turns out they're not enrolled anywhere. Something like that. You're giving them money for some sort of training, uh, degree, qualification. They want to go to school. Um, Something like that. Thirty-six. Owl. Wisdom. Independent thinking and enlightenment. Here's that enlightenment. Here's the truth being revealed. That leads to an ending. Number one. Shelter. Spiritual growth. Accountability. And healing. You're holding someone accountable and they do not like it. Not one bit. And instead of putting, that's what pisses you off, okay? Instead of putting their hands up and going, yep, sorry, my bad. They're pushing it back and they're trying to make it like it's you. So <laughs> you're just going to go on the offensive. Here you go. 12, writer, movement, quick decisions and progress. Knight of Swords with this energy, very fast change, very fast progress, fast action. Filing something, reporting something, making something known, public filing a complaint, getting that legal advice, doing what you got to do to get your money back, doing what you got to do. If you can't get your money back, then you want people to know exactly what's been going on. Going above someone's head with this energy. Right? And having the victory. Having the victory. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Pisces, I don't know what you got going on, but you let me know. And if you are dealing with this kind of situation, um, I hope this reading helps you. If it's something where you do 
catch someone and they do put their hands up i feel like they won't initially you'll have to push or threaten but they do put their hands up eventually there could be some sort of negotiation here of how they can make it up to you how they can make amends how they're going to get your money back how you're going to get you your stuff back so that you don't report them so that you don't file a complaint so that you don't take them to court so either way you win it just depends what your victory is in your eyes okay so that's what I have for you. Hope this helps. <laughs> um, check out the description box for other videos or at the end of the video, I've linked other videos for you to look at. I'm um, looking forward to your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.